there are athletes whose names immediately come to mind when mentioning a particular sport. For example, if you start talking about football, the name of Lionel Messi will immediately come to mind. If you start talking about tennis, then the name of Maria Sharapova or Serena Williams will be one of those that come to mind at the same moment. Michaela Schifrin is a household name in the skiing world. From the very beginning of her career, she made a splash, winning the hearts of fans with her amazing skills and undeniable talent. In today's video, we take a look at Michaela's success story, her accomplishments and contributions to the world of skiing. Michaela Pauline Schifrin was born in March 1995 in Vail, Colorado. Her passion for skiing began at an early age through the influence of her parents, Eileen and Jeff Schifrin. Jeff, her father, was an avid skier and raced for Dartmouth College as a student. And Sydney, her mother, played for Berkshire High School. By the way, parents had a sporting influence not only on Michaela, but also on her older brother Taylor, who played for the University of Denver. It is not surprising that in such a family a future sports star was raised from her. From a young age, Michaela has shown what an amazing talent she has. Even at the age of 14, she went to the Italian town of Topolino, where she became the champion in slalom and giant slalom, beating participants from 40 countries. The following year, the future star, having overcome the 15-year barrier, was finally able to join the FIS, International Ski and Snowboard Federation. In 2011, Michaela, just weeks after her 16th birthday, showed incredible skill and confidence when she won first place in slalom at the U.S. Championships, becoming the sport's youngest national champion in the process. The athlete herself noted that the support and mentorship of her parents played a huge role in her success. And she was not going to stop. The very next year, she climbed to her first championship podium at the World Cup stage in Linz, Austria, where, as a result of a stubborn struggle, she won bronze. The following season, Michaela won the World Cup in night slalom for the first time in Sweden. And the victories at the stages in the Croatian Zagreb, the Austrian Flachau and the Swiss Lenzerheide, as well as the bronze won at the beginning of the season at the stage in Finland allowed Michaela Schifrin to receive her first World Cup of the 2013 season in the slalom category. This victory allowed Michaela to go to Russia for the 2014 Olympics, where, as a result of a hard struggle, she won gold, becoming the youngest Olympic champion in the history of this discipline. Michaela not only achieved outstanding results at the Olympic Games, but also made a strong impression with her elegance and charisma. Her style and technique combined aggressiveness and grace, which made her performances unique and attractive to the audience. And after the Olympics, Schifrin ended the season with ease, repeating her last year's success and winning her second World Cup in slalom. Despite losing the first three races at the start of the 2015 season, Michaela managed to win the remaining five and send her third World Cup in a row. And at the end of the season, Michaela also won the World Slalom Championship. It seemed that the train called Michaela Schifrin was unstoppable. Schifrin started the next 2016 World Cup season with two easy victories. But despite a great start, the athlete missed the heart of the racing season due to a knee injury. And although she returned to action after only two months and won the remaining competitions of the season, this annoying break did not allow her to once again climb the podium of champions. But Michaela did not give up and only increased the pressure, taking her fourth World Cup in slalom in the 2017 season and also taking the World Cup in the overall standings. In the same year, she became the world champion for the third time. And at the end of the season, Michaela received the Skia d'Or Golden Skier Award awarded by the International Association of Ski Journalists to the best skier of the year. By the way, the winner of this award is chosen among athletes of both sexes. In 2018, Schifrin traveled to the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics, where, despite the constant postponements and tightening of the competition schedule, she was able to take gold in the giant slalom, as well as silver in the super combined. 
These two victories made her the most decorated American Olympic champion, the most decorated alpine skier, and the second most decorated alpine skier overall. And as a cherry on the cake, Michaela won another World Cup in slalom, as well as a second World Cup in the overall standings. After the Olympics, Michaela Schifrin continued to demonstrate her superiority. In the 2019 season, she outdid herself and became undefeated in slalom, giant slalom and super G at the World Cups, and of course she retained the World Cup overall, becoming the first skier to win 17 World Cups in a season. In addition, at the 2019 Alpine Skiing World Championships, she took gold in Super G, bronze in giant slalom and her fourth gold in slalom of her career. Thus becoming the first skier to win four world championships in a row in the same discipline, despite the fact that Michaela suffered from a lung infection on the day of the race. But that's not all, in the same season she won her 41st race in slalom, no one had done it before her. The next season of 2020 was a truly terrible one for Michaela Schifrin. In February 2020, her father Jeff died in an accident while clearing snow from his roof. Michaela was heartbroken and took an indefinite break from her career. Returning the following season, Schifrin failed to return to the same level of dominance that she left the World Cup with last season, but she was still in the top six in every race. However, everything changed at the 2021 World Cup. Michaela showed herself in great shape and performed even better than expected. She won Super G Bronze, Giant Slalom Silver, Slalom Bronze, and Combined Gold, the most medals she has won at a single world championship. Schifrin came to the Olympic Games in Beijing, hoping to increase the number of medals in her Olympic piggy bank. But to say that something didn't go according to plan is an understatement. She first fell in just seven nets defending her last Olympic title in giant slalom and then fell again in four nets in slalom. No one, I repeat, no one expected such a turn of events. Michaela was the clear favorite of the games, but in the end, the giant slalom gold went to the Swede Sarah Hector and the slalom to the representative of Slovakia, Petra Vlova. This defeat upset Michaela, but did not break. At the press conference after the Olympics, she said the following, I won and I'm going to win again. And she kept her word by winning the 2023 World Cup in slalom, giant slalom and overall. Along the way, on January 24, 2023, Michaela surpassed Lindsey Vonn's previous record for the most wins at the Women's World Cup stages. And in March 2023, Michaela won her 87th World Cup race, overtaking Ingemar Stenmark of Sweden for the most World Cup wins for both sexes, and bringing his percentage of wins at the Cup stages to 35. In an interview with the German news outlet, Stenmark said, You can't compare us. She's a lot better than me. I have never been so good in all disciplines. I dare say that Jan Ingemar Stenmark's record lasted for 34 years, which further increases the effect of Michaela Schifrin's victory and also shows how devoted she is to her work. And another small but interesting fact is that Michaela broke Stenmark's record at the same Olympia in Sweden where he once set it. But as the athlete continues her career, she has every chance to realize Stenmark's prediction that she will win at least 100 World Cup race victories. In addition, Michaela Schifrin has set many more records that highlight her outstanding achievements. She became the only athlete in the history of men's and women's skiing to win the World Cup in all six disciplines. In the 2018-2019 season, she set the record for the most wins in a single season, winning 17 races. At the World Cup, she won 53 victories in slalom, which is a record for any discipline of alpine skiing. She is the only athlete in history to win the same discipline at four Alpine Skiing World Championships in a row. During her career, she has already received 15 crystal globes, five of which are large. And seven small globes in slalom is a record for any discipline. Michaela always stresses the importance of balancing work and personal life. She attaches great importance to rest and time for her family in order to keep her energy and motivation. 
Her commitment to excellence are the keys to her success, which she inherited from her parents. Michaela Schifrin is not only a great athlete, but also an inspiration to many young people. Her talent, dedication, and hard work serve as an example for many, motivating them to follow their dreams. She actively supports various charitable organizations and initiatives, using her fame and success for charitable purposes. So February 2023, she published an open letter titled, Our Sport is Endangered. The letter addressed to the president of the International Ski Federation, FIS, Johan Eliash expresses her concerns about the ongoing climate change. In it, Michaela criticized FIS's sustainability activities and called current efforts insufficient. In the letter, she and other signatories call on FIS to commit to achieving carbon neutrality by 2035 or earlier, achieve a 50% reduction in emissions by 2030, establish a sustainability department and ensure full transparency. Otherwise, she emphasizes, races will increasingly be canceled due to lack of snow. Here is an excerpt from the letter. We, as the winter sports community, must take the lead in the fight against climate change and make our sport climate neutral as soon as possible. To do this, we need progressive organizational action. This is our most important race. Let's win it together. Michaela Schifrin is an exceptional athlete whose name will go down in the history of skiing. Her records and contribution to the sport make her a true legend. She embodies strength, passion, and courage, and we look forward to her continued triumphs and impressive achievements on the slopes. Do not forget to write comments, put likes, and subscribe to the channel. They talk about sports here.